Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. The Treaty of Severus cannot be buried. Armenak Abrahamian. It is high time to apply sanctions against the dictatorial Aliyev regime. Mambung or Babong, village Armenia Nakhichevan. A concert was held in Uruguay dedicated to Aram Khachatrian. Armenian nation in various fields of culture in the attention of Chinese ambassador. A forest fire in Armasia province of Western Armenia. Chess team of Eastern Armenia became the vice champion. The president of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, highlighted the importance of the territory of Arsakh during the meeting discussion on the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Severus. According to him, a part of our Republic of 1920 could be liberated from the first time after 10 years. The president does not want to go into details. However, he emphasized that it is important to understand that the Treaty of Severus cannot be buried. Nikol Pashinyan's statement on the 100th anniversary of the signing of the Treaty of Severus is significant. He says that the Treaty of Severus, like the Treaty of Versailles in Europe, was for the establishment of peace in Western Asia and Western Armenia. He recognizes this international treaty that was signed for the rights of Armenians and for establishment of peace and justice in Western Asia, mentioned President Armena Gabrahaman in his speech. He also emphasized that when we talk about Armenia, we are talking about the Republic of 1920, not about historical Armenia, and that is fundamental. Article 89 of the treaty confirms the undeniable historical connection of the Armenian people with the Armenian highlands, which Pashinyan also recognized. This article establishes that Turkey and Armenia, as well as other contradicted parties, submit to the arbitration of the President of the United States of America the issue on the determining the border between Turkey and Armenia in the Vilayets of Trabzon, Van and Bitlis, as well as uh, other provisions regarding Armenia's access to the sea and demarcation, concluded his speech the President, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian. Thus, by Article 89 of the Treaty of Severus gave President Wilson the authority to officially determine the borders between Western Armenia and Turkey. A group of deputies from all factions of the European Parliament issued a joint statement in the response to the criticism, negative reactions and threat from Baku and Russia regarding the Armenian-French military cooperation. With the statement, they emphasized that having an armed army with combat ready and modern military equipment is the sovereign right of any country. The Member of Parliament noted that the accusations made by the Russian and Baku regimes against Eastern Armenia that the latter is provoking a uh, conflict in the South Caucasus and proving once again that there is a conspiracy between the two countries, which is sep in September 2023 led to the death of more than 140,000 people in Artsakh and ethnic cleansing of Armenians. This cannot be accepted by the European Union in any way, and it is high time to impose sanctions on the dictatorial Aliyev regime for this destructive action, undermining regional peace and security and for violating human rights, said the joint statement. The Pan-Armenian Union Guardman Shirvan Nakhijevan refers to Bambung or Bambung village, which was located on the left bank of the Nakhijevan River. The historical village of Babung was one of the largest villages of Shahapung, and even today are visible the traces that prove that it is the largest one. The large and the old Armenian cemetery is located just outside the village. The ruins of a large church are also visible, and part of the ruins of the houses of the village is located right at the head of the rock chain and look like buildings of a castle. The last Armenian families left this historical village was in the 1980s. Unfortunately, today there is no information in written sources about the historical past of the village. There are no exact data when a church sent Astvatatin of the historical village was built, but studies have allowed us to conclude that it was founded at the end of the 12th century and turned into ruins in 1814-1845. The church was managed to be repaired in 1872, and in 1919 the ruins of the church were still preserved. One of the most prestigious concerts all in Uruguay, in the Solid Theater, a concert was held dedicated to the 120th anniversary of the world-famous Armenian composer Aram Khachatryan. The embassy noted that during the evening, the famous works of Aram Khachatryan were performed by the Montevideo Philharmonic Orchestra, including the waltz from Masquerade, Zangezur March, some parts from the ballad Guyana, and others. The message mentions that within the framework of this exclusive concert, the Embassy of Republic of Armenia, in cooperation with Aram Khachatryan House Museum, presented photo exhibition on Aram Khachatryan's visit to Uruguay in 1957. 
An international conference entitled Armenia Chinese Cultural Dialogue was held at the National Academy of Sciences, the participants of which discussed the current issues and perspectives of the development of the cultural relations between the two ancient friendly nations. In his speech, Ambassador Fa Yong noted that China is interested in the history, culture and history of Armenia, the Armenian people and the deep value that Armenians have left in the world science and various fields of culture. He mentioned that last year a violin competition was held in China dedicated to the great composer Aram Khachatryan, and a number of concerts were organized as well. Soon a violin competition dedicated to Aram Khachatryan will be held in Armenia, to which many specialists from China will also arrive, he informed. The first contacts between the Armenians and Chinese people began as early as the second century. Those relations were commercial. The Armenians engaged in silk trade. Before the Middle Ages, our nation had 1,500 years of statehood, but during that time we did not form interstate relations with China. Only after 1992, when Armenia became independent again, interstate relations were established again between our countries. This was mentioned by an academician, secretary of the National Academy of Sciences, Yuri Suvarian. A forest fire broke out in the territory of Amasa province of western Armenia. In the forest area of Karamung village, the fire was controlled and extinguished in the two different points of the same area after great efforts. The cause of the fire is not yet known. The U18 chess team of Eastern Armenia won the title of vice champion of the European Team Championship. Our country was represented by Emin Ohanian, Arsen Davtian, Robert Pilipoisian, Erika Sparian, and Penika Gasarov. In the last round, the chess players beat the Austrian team with a score of 3 to 1. Our representatives won five times, drew one time, and lost one time. The winner of the championship was the Israel team, which suffered the only defeat in the championship against the representative of Armenia. This was all for today. Goodbye.